This is the plaintiff, Aza Salem. She says she rented an apartment from the defendant. And once she moved out, he turned on her and is now refusing to refund her security deposit. If that man thinks she's just going to go away quietly without a fight, he has something else coming to him. Because she's owed her money, left the place in tip-top condition, and is here suing for the $3,000 she's due. This is the defendant, Joseph DeVito. He says the plaintiff's a little bit wacky because she caused extensive damage to his once pristine apartment. And he has every right to withhold her security to cover his losses. He feels the judge will agree, looks forward to a judgment in his favor, and simply owes the former tenant nothing. He's accused of not playing by the rules. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says her landlord turned on her. She left the place spick and span, and he docked her on security. But the defendant says she was like a tornado. It's the case of, as a tenant, you blow. Thank you, Douglas. Aza Salem. Hi. Hi. You are suing Joseph DeVito for $3,000, the amount of your security deposit, which you feel he is wrongfully withholding, your former landlord here. Tell me what happened. You moved into the condo when? June 11, in 2014. All right, and you signed the lease. I did sign And the lease. the lease was supposed to end when? June 30th of 2015, Correct. right? Okay, so what happened? What happened when I tried to, he texted me messages around beginning or end of April to say if you need to renew the lease, it will be $1,600 versus fifteen. Okay. So I texted him back. I said, well, we're probably going to buy a house, so I might not end up to stay there for another lease. I was very firm with him to say if I'm going to lose the end of, my, uh, of June, do I pay June? He said, yes. You pay the $1,500 for the June, and you also pay the security deposit, which is $1,500. Stop. Is there a lease? Yes. May I see the lease? Is it your understanding that 3000 is a security My deposit or is yes, that last month and security deposit? My understanding of the lease is that the $3,000 is security deposit. Okay, it's let's not see. Okay. It says it right here. You will deposit with us $3,000 as a security deposit. And so I... That doesn't count for last month's rent. You're not. You're supposed to pay last month's rent. So go when ahead. I text him, when I text him on April 28th, and I ask him, uh, so you are taking the fifteen hundred dollars from security deposit toward June? He said yes. Oh, that was the you? text. I do not recall saying yes to that question. Let me see you, the text. Thank you. My language is a little bit. Sorry. Okay, so on April 28th, he reaches out to you and says, All right, the two months may pass by quickly. I'm checking with you in advance. Are you going to be signing a new 12-month lease? So you say, so I am going to send you a month of May plus water pill, bill, and June is paid already. Now, when she's saying June was paid, that's not accurate. How come you didn't tell her? No, it wasn't. That security... It's just I, I, I probably didn't say it in that text, but I yeah. did mention it in conversations. That All right, either way, it doesn't matter. Paid. It is what it is. Okay, so go on. So go on. Uh, basically, this is the text on April 28th. I went to my country to see my mom. She getting very sick. She has a shingle, I'm and sorry that's to in hear. Egypt. In Egypt. So I left May 10th. That time we were closing on the house, which is we are moving. Did to you buy tell him I bought a house? Nobody tells him. I told him I'm going to buy no, a no. house. Did you tell him once you bought the house? Did you keep him? abreast of, hey, I have a closing date set. I you don't know? have the closing date on the maze. Okay, well, stop coaching her. Okay, and see, so you want to talk so much, come on up. This is who? That's my husband, Hussein. All right, husband. Okay, <laughs> what's your name? Hussein. Um, he's not actually on the lease, right? No. no. Okay, so when she, you're in Egypt, you're the one who is responsible for talking to him? Yes. When do you talk to him and say, hey, we're leaving? What I is- call him like two weeks before we leave, and he didn't answer. That's okay. like, it and was like- And you did not like leave a, a message? I didn't leave a message. Okay. Because I, I thought he know, but- Why did you think he knew? You thought she told him? Because, because he has a message, he knows we already, we will go buy a house. How do you, wait, do you understand uh-huh. that? The fact that you told him, hey, we plan on buying a house, isn't notice that you're leaving on a certain day. When did you tell him we're out on June 1st? You ended okay. up moving June 1st, yeah. right? No. All right, so you moved June 1st, you're still in Egypt, right? Yes. yes I okay, came so back you leave him in charge. Yeah. Bad idea. Okay, so, 
gives me a hard time to to move. I gave him a hard time. I yeah. gave him a hard time. I'm sure he has his fine points. He has a power of attorney to close in the house and close in his own business. We were in mass in that time. Um, my situation is, I was in the good faith. He he's going to do the right things. First of all, when did you close on the house? Let me ask you, because you're the one who closed. Uh, May 30th. Okay, so you move the stuff. You tell him when that you're moving. Like uh, 21st. It's like okay, 10 when days did they, before. He tell you, hey, we're moving June. You know, at the end of May. Uh, they called me one week before the move uh, on the Memorial Day weekend. Nobody was willing to rent uh, in some, on such a short notice. Because if you had been able to rent it by June 1st, then you'd go ahead and return that part of the money. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Right. So, but now, why are you keeping the rest of the money? Because it's a three thousand dollar. Deposit. So where's the other 1500 Yeah, so in, in addition to the 1500 um, there was uh, some money due for uh, a water bill use uh, and sewer use. Okay. Um, and then there was a number of costs for replacing a storm door that they damaged and took off of the building. Okay, let's talk about the storm door. How was a, the storm door damaged? The storm door, obviously, I did receive a text from Joe at the beginning of September to say the latches in the door is not working right. Finally, he fixed it. This is all before it was broken? Correct. Do you have proof of that? Yes, it's a text I printed out from my, my cell phone, but I, it's text. Is that, let me see it printed, I'll hand it to my bed. So there's prior, there's documentation prior to the storm door breaking that the latches on the storm door weren't working. Correct. Okay. Regardless, it was a big, big a storm happened. I have nothing to do with that. I did not damage the door. It was Mother Nature. Was there a particular storm that caused yeah, it to? Yeah, it's arena, I guess. It's a, the I one, the big it. one with the wind in November, and the door it wasn't proper closed. And when the wind came in the it, morning, what did it do it. to the door? It takes it the edge of the door. It takes it out, so it was hard to put it back on. So you, you took have, it off. Yes. Okay. Actually, did you tell I think him? he came to see it and he yes. recommended us to move it because it's, it wasn't safety. My babysitter twice. Okay. She there's fixed a series it. of texts. Hold on. I'm going to put you on hold there a second. There's a series of texts between the two of you about the storm door before the thing broke. Also, I noticed a storm, storm door latch was broken. I will stop by Saturday or Sunday to install a new handle and latch. Yeah, yeah. The latch is connected to the handle. It's part of the mechanism. Okay. So why are you contesting what they say about how the storm door broke? Because if it is Mother Nature, they would not be responsible for it. Okay. So the reason why I'm contesting that is because prior to this incident, the door had been left open on multiple occasions. They chose to keep it ajar rather than clasp it shut. What are you suggesting? That during a storm, they're going to keep it open? Uh, I mean... Um, do you have a picture of the door? I have a picture of the door after they decided to take it off and put it in the garage. Yes. The okay, top picture. so what is wrong with the door? How was it destroyed? Um, it is ripped off the building. Um, and how the is it, how do you suppose, you think he ripped it off the building? When I came to, to, on the day of the move, they had removed the facade and the hinge <laughs> assembly underneath I, I, the facade. You have to have some evidence that the tenant broke the door. The door is in the garage. And, you know, you end up replacing it with what, a $1,500 door? It's a storm door. The, the, the door cost was actually only about 400 and that's all I withheld from the, from the deposit. After I installed it, I found out that Lowe's would not take the facade off. I gave them back $954, but after repairing the door and having to take time off of work, I found out that really they should have paid me over $1,000, but I did not pursue that because I did not want to waste anyone's time. How, can I see an itemization of what it is that you um, withheld? Yes. May I say something? Yeah. Honor, I got the house while it's still my previous tenant was still there. Mr. Joe DiVardo have not washed the have not washed the carpet, have not painted the wall, have not fixed the bathrooms. I have not mentioned that in the beginning. If he if I'm gonna follow in the lease, he have to also follow in the lease for in the beginning <laughs> with. So do tenants typically respect uh, the places that they uh, they rent? No, I mean, you don't own it, so. You, know you're you a tenant or a landlord? Um, are you own a house or are you? Tenant. <laughs> do you respect, do you, ex do you respect it? I do, but probably not as much as I would if I owned it. Okay, that was a real mistake to say on television. What do you think? <laughs> I, I treat my, my place that I rent like, like I own it, so I definitely, you know, I respect it and I don't beat it down. Okay, I kind of get it, going inside the courtroom. All right, here's what I find. I find that you do have to pay rent in June, okay? Because um, number one, one week's notice or eight days notice is insufficient notice. It doesn't tell me how, not, how much you notice. Exactly, much and that's where I was going, okay? <laughs>
you decide that advance notice means whatever you feel like it meaning. If you don't know what advance notice means, ask. But in the eyes of the law, the notice is at a minimum 30 days. All right, so the $1,500 you're definitely gonna owe. The water bill and the sewer bill, you don't complain about, you know that you owe that. But the rest of this stuff, I find that you are not able to prove that they broke the door. So that means that your right, what you have a right to keep was $1,608.94. I already okay. paid them. Minus, what did you already pay them? Um, I sent them a check for $954.16. Is that I accurate? I have not received it. Nope. I have proof that it was delivered to a mailbox, and I have Do you have a, proof it was cash? I, I keep calling. They chose okay, not let's to cash figure, it. We'll figure that yeah. out. If, in fact, it was cash, then that's minus the $954.16. Okay. But the bottom line is that I find that they're entitled... <clears throat> to $1,391.06. And before anybody leaves the courthouse, we're gonna clear up now whether or not that $900 cashier's check. We have ways, don't worry about it. All right, but we'll figure it out, but obviously there won't be double payment. Good luck, folks. Let's get some comment from the landlord coming out of here. Uh, the defendant has, does have to fork over some money, you know, right over here, oh. looking this way. What's your reaction to this outcome here? Uh, well, I don't entirely agree with the outcome, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm going to have to move on and, uh, you know, take it from here. Were they good tenants? Um, I'm not going to say anyone's was necessarily good or bad. I don't think that would be proper right. for me to say. Head right around the corner this way. All right, so come on in here. You didn't get uh, everything you sued for. Step next to me, and you satisfied? You, at least you're smiling. Well, I always am smiling. Yes, I am actually happy with the judge uh, agreement because... It was my fault. It did not give enough notice. So I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, proper notice would have been the right Correct. thing to do. But the Correct. Thing... But we learn. We learn from our mistakes. But uh, Well, if you had any final things to say, too bad. <laughs> Harvey? <laughs> okay, now, Kurt, we have talked about this before. When you rent uh, a place, um, you should take pictures moving in and moving out. By the way, landlord, you too. Take pictures moving in, moving out.